The Celebrity Beyond is Celebrity's newest, most modern cruise ship, and it has been described with words like trailblazing and revolutionary, in addition to innovative and luxurious. We've all seen videos and photos on social media, but did Celebrity Beyond live up to the hype? Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We recently went on a cruise on the Celebrity Beyond and as soon as we got off our cruise, we received an email and that email was of course a survey from the cruise line asking us for our feedback, what went well, what could be improved upon, and of course to share any additional comments that we had. Now in this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes with me and share an honest review of our cruise. Now I have to be honest, before we boarded our cruise, I had some concerns. Namely, what would we think about the infinite veranda cabin? Would we really dislike it? What would we think about the food and the dining? We have heard some recent mixed reviews. And would we find the celebrity beyond too modern and miss the traditional classic design that we enjoy on most cruise ships? Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Our cruise on the Celebrity Beyond was a seven day Caribbean cruise leaving from Fort Lauderdale. The ports were St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Port Taino in Dominican Republic. Now, being honest, I didn't book this cruise for the ports, but one of them ended up being a big surprise. It was not at all what we expected, but I will tell you more later on in this video. Our cruise began in Port Everglades, Fort Lauderdale. We had a 12.30 check-in time, so we parked our car, walked over to the cruise terminal, and embarkation was fast and easy. We were on board from about 15 minutes from the moment that we walked into the cruise terminal. Now this cruise was pretty meaningful to us as a family as we did bring our two adult sons along with us for an adult family vacation. We started off our cruise as is tradition with Embarkation Day Mimosas at the Martini Bar. Embarking on the Celebrity Beyond, we were struck by how absolutely beautiful and modern this cruise ship is. As we had come to find out during the seven days on our cruise, Celebrity did not miss a beat when it came to the details and the beauty of this cruise ship. That being said, the Celebrity Beyond does have its pros and its cons, and I will be sharing those within this video, as well as who I do think this cruise ship is for. Now we headed over to our muster station to do a quick e-muster. It is so fast and efficient on Celebrity. We absolutely love that. And following that, we each went to our cruise ship cabins. Now my husband and I had an infinite veranda cabin. More on that a little bit later. I will share the details of it. And my sons had an inside cabin nearby. We all dropped off our bags, met our cabin attendants before we decided to head up to the buffet for some lunch. Now, usually I try to skip the buffet on embarkation day and try to find an alternative place to have lunch. However, we were getting pretty hungry and we did have sail away at 3.30, so it didn't really leave a lot of time for a sit down lunch. The embarkation day lunch at Ocean View Cafe, the buffet was actually pretty good. We all found something that we liked and we decided to eat outdoors at the very back of the Ocean View Cafe where there's some nice seating just underneath the sunset bar. Following lunch, we had some time to explore the ship before we made our way back to the sunset bar for sail away. As it turned out, Sunset Bar was always the perfect place to take and sail away. There was always a duo playing acoustic music and it was really the perfect spot. Now, in my opinion, once sail away happens, that is when a cruise really begins and so does this review. So we are gonna talk about the ship in general and its appearance. We're gonna talk about the food and the dining. We're gonna talk about the cabins. We're gonna talk about the activities and the entertainment, the bars and drinks and the ports. And as always, this video is going to be full of tips that you can use. The food and dining. There are a lot of food and dining options, both included and additional cost on the Celebrity Beyond. Now you have the Ocean View Cafe or the buffet. This ended up being a really great spot to get lunch, breakfast, and snacks. There was a wide variety of food. Now the layout of the buffet is with stations, so you never ended up with long lineups, which is something really nice. Now you had a lot of your typical stations. For instance, at breakfast, you have an omelet station and eggs benedict, and you also have other nice breakfast options, including pancakes and blintzes and different potato options. 
The fruit station was always plentiful, which was something that I liked. At lunchtime, you had a wonderful salad buffet, including a fresh Caesar salad station made with real Parmesan. In addition, you had sandwiches, a Mexican station, Asian station, charcuterie, carving stations, and pizza, which is available at the back of the buffet. Some of my personal favorites at the buffet were the bagels and smoked salmon in the morning time, the eggs benedict, and at lunchtime there was a gyro station one day and the fish and chips were delicious. Now a criticism or a weak point I would say for the buffet is that in the evening time the buffet was only about half open and the choices were really minimal. Now personally we like to eat in the main dining rooms in the evening time or even at a specialty restaurant so this doesn't really affect us much but if you are somebody who likes an evening buffet this might be disappointing. Now the main dining rooms work a little differently on the Celebrity Beyond in compared to other cruise ships that we've been on. Instead of having one main dining room, there are four main dining room restaurants. There is Cyprus, Tuscan, Cosmopolitan, and Normandy. And the idea of all of these is they have one main menu that will be the same, but they also have some specialty items that are available in each of these particular restaurants. And yes, these are included. Now we usually ate around seven o'clock p.m. and we were able to simply go up to the Mater D and every time but once we were able to get a table right away. The one time that we weren't able to, we were told to go get a drink. We had a little buzzer and within 10 minutes we were called. Now in the survey we received from Celebrity, they asked us what we thought of the menu options, what we thought of the food presentation, the food quality and the service. Now, when it came to the menu options, while there was always something to find that we liked, we definitely didn't find the menu options to be as exciting or as enticing as past cruises with Celebrity. That being said, when it did come to the taste of the foods, we found that all of the foods that we ate, minus a couple of exceptions, were very good to excellent. Now, Celebrity has made some changes when it comes to their included dining, and we did find that the presentation lacked a little bit of some of the extra little touches that we used to see on Celebrity in the main dining room. However, when it came to service, especially considering that we had a different waiter almost every night of our cruise, the service was very good and we had absolutely no complaints. The waiters and the staff were very accommodating. Now, another change that Celebrity has made is that on lobster night, you can order one lobster tail that is on the menu. However, if you want an additional lobster, there was an extra charge for that. I believe it was $16. 99. But I will let you know a little tip. Something that you can do is you can order one of the other meals on the menu. So for instance, you can order the steak and you can make your meal a surf and turf. So yes, you can still order multiple dishes on Celebrity and have a chance to try out different foods for which I am glad. Now, just to mention, you can also have breakfast and lunch in the main dining room as well. We enjoyed our breakfast in Cosmopolitan one morning and it was a great way to start the day. Other food options that are included are the Mast Grill. That is a place to get hamburgers and hot dogs, and I think they might even have a veggie burger if I'm not mistaken, but that is right next to the pool on the right side. You may not see it if you are not looking for it. It's right before you go into the solarium. Another little spot that you might wanna find, especially if you enjoy healthy options, is the Spa Cafe. The Spa Cafe is in the adult-only solarium on the left-hand side. Now, if you are an ice cream or a sorbet lover, then you absolutely have to try Scoops. That is homemade ice cream and sorbet that is absolutely delicious. You will find it just at the entrance of the Ocean View Cafe. Now, in the interior of the cruise ship, in the Grand Plaza area, you're going to find Cafe Albaccio. Cafe Albaccio has specialty coffees and teas, which there is an additional charge. However, all of the wonderful pastries, the wonderful cakes, the wonderful sweets, those are all included. We found that to be very good. If you do sit down, they will bring your items to you or you can pick up your items to go. By the way, you will find some gluten-free and some vegan options as well. I even tried one of the cakes. It was really good. My only well, criticism, but it's really more of a suggestion, would be that it would be nice to see some healthy options as well, maybe like some fruit. So whole fruit or some fruit cups, that would be something that would be a nice addition to Cafe El Bacio if Celebrity was listening. Eden is another nice place to eat breakfast or lunch. You'll find sandwiches and salads and some wonderful treats. It is open only on sea days. Now we ordered room service for breakfast one day. It was really good and it was a really nice treat. Now there is an additional charge right now on Celebrity. So it was $10 plus a service charge. So it was about $12 or so 
for that breakfast, which was basically a delivery charge. Now, if you don't want to pay for room service, you can still get a continental breakfast for free. Now, when it comes to the specialty restaurants, there are a lot of really nice choices on the Celebrity Beyond. However, our funds are not unlimited, so we decided to book one specialty restaurant in advance, and then we did choose another one once we were on board. The restaurant that we chose was Fine Cut Steakhouse. My son ended up having a tomahawk steak. It was absolutely delicious. I had lobster, my husband had filet mignon. Uh, we had all of the different side dishes. It was really good and I definitely recommend it. Now, one of the things that I heard before going on this ship is that it's going to be very loud in the Fine Cut Steakhouse and perhaps that was something that was a negative. However, we just didn't find that to be the case. It may have just been the evening that we went, but we really didn't hear a lot of noise or music from the martini bar below. Now, in case you decide to book a dining package before your cruise, some of the other specialty restaurants include Eden, The Magic Carpet, Le Voyage, Le Petit Chef, The Rooftop Grill, and Raw on Five, which is a la carte. Now, on the last night of our cruise, we decided to change things up a little bit and eat at Raw on Five. We have heard rave reviews the entire cruise, and being honest, we were not disappointed. Even though we do not eat raw fish, I know it's not usual for people to go to sushi and not eat raw fish, but we ordered the shrimp tempura, the California rolls, and other sushi rolls that just didn't have the raw fish. And we also ate the chicken teriyaki and a beef dish, and it was really good. Now, before we talk about the cabin, we have to talk about the ship's appearance and the different areas of the cruise ship. The Celebrity Beyond is modern, trendy, luxurious looking, and there are times where you'll literally feel like you're almost in a James Bond movie. There are these little secret areas and details that are both beautiful and surprising. We even found this hidden passage that most people didn't seem to know about. I'll share that with you a little bit later on in the video. Now, starting on the top deck, you're going to find the Sunset Bar. Now, even though the Sunset Bar is on the apex and on edge, it was really redesigned on Celebrity Beyond with amazing seating areas and a stylish Moroccan themed bar. Now, there was a drink that I particularly liked at the Sunset Bar. It was called the Beyond Signature. I definitely recommend that you give that a try. Now, close by to the Sunset Bar, you'll have the rooftop terrace. This area actually has live plants among the seating areas where you can watch a game, you can watch a movie, or even go to a class where you can do your morning stretches. Now, there are two plunge pools pretty close to the Sunset Bar and the rooftop terrace. These are basically infinity pools. I wasn't sure how much I would like them, but this was a perfect spot to go at the end of a day in a cruise port. It was much less crowded than if you were going to the main resort pool and a great spot for a dip. Now, a nice detail that I noticed is that there was either a glass or a plexiglass barrier in between the plunge pools and the rooftop terrace area. This glass barrier really helped to soundproof the area of the plunge pool from the sound of a game or a movie that would be playing at the rooftop terrace. Now, in addition to the plunge pools, you have the large resort pool with a lot of seating, by the way. So not only do you have your lounge chairs or your deck chairs, but you also have these comfortable couch-like seating areas. By the way, I should mention that if you want to use the cabanas, there's an extra charge for that. But if you do wanna sit on any of the sunken couch areas or the other seating areas, that is included. Now, just above the resort pool, you do have two champagne-style hot tubs, those are elevated and a couple of decks above the pool. And I should mention that while this area is absolutely beautiful during the day, it is equally beautiful at night. Now on one of the days of our cruise, it became cool and it became windy and we decided to head indoors to the adult only solarium. The chairs were so plush and nice and a really nice extra was a crew member going around and handing out sorbet to all of the guests the indoor spaces. A lot of the life of the cruise ship happens around the Grand Plaza. In the center of the Grand Plaza, you have the martini bar, which particularly comes alive at night. You also have Cafe Albaccio, which is on a deck above the martini bar with some lovely seating areas. Now, close by to the Grand Plaza, you're also going to find the casino. And if you continue walking towards the back of the cruise ship, you are going to find Eden. Now, to get to Eden, you're going to have to actually cross through the most unusual hallway that I have ever seen. It is actually an art installation called Odyssey, and it always had guests wondering how nobody was banging their heads or ending up in the infirmary. 
Now Eden with its live plants is absolutely beautiful both during the day where you can even participate in some activities or just take in the view and in the evening where you can go see shows and hear live bands. Now before I move on to the cabins, the activities and the entertainment, I wanted to talk about something that I really just don't hear anybody talking about and that is the shopping on the cruise ship. And for me, this was a negative. But I'll explain why and I would really like to hear from you on this. So in terms of the shopping on the cruise ship, these stores were different from what I have seen on many other cruise ships. What I mean to say is they were really very high end, very luxurious, at least they seemed like it to me. So the shops on board included a Cartier, a Bulgari, there was an Effie, there was a pre-loved designer or luxury bag store, a Mont Blanc store, and a chocolate shop that sold chocolate truffles that sold for $80 to $90 for a very small box. Now there was also a liquor store and a store that sold some celebrity merchandise and some clothing. Now I like to shop a little bit when I am on a cruise, but I like to feel like maybe there might be something that I can afford. And the idea of spending 10 or $20,000 on a necklace or bracelet isn't something that I usually plan to do on a cruise. Now on our cruise in particular, every time we walked by any of the different stores, they were empty or close to empty, except Effie. There was an Effie sale and a giveaway. I think it was on the second to last night of our cruise. It was definitely busy at the Effie that night. Now, please let me know, this is the first time that I've been on a cruise ship that really had such high end, such luxury stores. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you love those stores, maybe you shop in them and it's simply me, but I'd really love to hear from you. Now, when it came to the cabins, my husband and I had an infinite veranda cabin and my sons had an interior cabin. Now being honest, when it came to the infinite veranda cabin, I was really worried about if we made a mistake, what would we think of it? But we actually really liked it. We enjoyed how spacious and bright the cabin always felt. And while we do enjoy a traditional balcony, we found that we also enjoyed this type of cabin. Now I know this cabin is not for everyone, so I do have a video that goes into detail about the pros and cons of an infinite veranda. I'm gonna leave that at the end of this video. But some good things that we did like about the cabin is that the bathroom was pretty spacious. You have a glass shower door as well. There was also a good amount of storage in the cabin as well. Now when it came to the interior cabin, which is the cabin that my sons had, it was a really bright cabin. This was something that really surprised me. And I thought for an interior cabin, it was really quite nice with a small seating area, also a spacious bathroom and that glass shower door. And by the way, when it came to stateroom attendants, both of our cabins had amazing stateroom attendants. They accommodated any of our small requests. They really did a fantastic job. And of course we did make sure to include their names in the survey that we filled out. The activities and the entertainment. Well, when it came to the activities and the entertainment on the Celebrity Beyond, it was very good. You had a variety of shows to choose from. So the production shows, which were quite good in the main theater. You also had a couple of shows that were in Eden as well. There were guest entertainers, including a very funny comedian. Now, one of our favorite things was the silent disco, which happens in the martini bar, and it definitely got everybody involved. Now something else that happens in the martini bar, and it seems to be every night around 10.30 p.m., is there is a chandelier show and a bartender show. This is just a lot of fun. The bartenders at the martini bar in particular are absolutely amazing. It ended up being a great place to hang out in the evening, especially after dinner or after a show. During the daytime, there were a variety of activities, including some activities that were happening at the resort pool. There was a fun aquafit class, which was truly the most energetic aquafit that I have ever seen. There were exercises on the pool deck. And while there are no sexy leg contests that you might see on other cruise ships, there were some fun pool games, including some challenges that while I didn't participate in, they were definitely fun to watch. We also enjoyed some of the indoor activities on the cruise ship, including a great talk by Captain Kate, trivia, and a fun little mini putt game that was happening right in the martini bar area. Now our cruise went to three ports and two of them we had been there before. However, one of them really surprised us because I wasn't really looking forward to it and it was actually a bit of a pleasant surprise. So the first one was St. Martin. We had a wonderful time there. We took the water taxi over to Phillipsburg, which is really close by. We went to the beach, we went and had a really nice lunch, did a little bit of shopping before coming back to the cruise ship and enjoying a drink at Sunset Bar before sail away. 
Now in St. Thomas, we were there for a little bit of a short day. We needed to be back on the cruise ship for, I believe it was around three o'clock PM. So we decided to book a cruise ship excursion because of that and because we also had some onboard credits. Now the excursion we decided to take was to Megan's Bay. Now on the way to Megan's Bay, we did stop at a lookout. That was absolutely wonderful. We really enjoyed that. However, we had been to Megan's Bay before. I like Megan's Bay usually, but I have to be honest, it was really crowded this time. Now, if you go to Megan's Bay, a little tip is walk all the way to the left and it will be much more quiet. However, I would suggest, especially if you know there are a lot of cruise ships in port, perhaps considering another type of excursion, perhaps a catamaran excursion or heading over to St. John to Trunk Bay. Now our third port was in Port Taino, Dominican Republic. And I don't know why, but I just didn't have high expectations of this port. However, we were very pleasantly surprised. Now this area is really easy to go out and explore on your own. You get off the cruise ship, you walk for a few minutes, or you can take a transportation. You can take that, those are free over to the end of the port area. From there, you can walk to a resort style pool. There's also a sandy beach area, but no actual beach where you can go in the water. There are some shops, there are some parrots, and there's some drinks and food that you can buy. Now, something that was really nice about this resort style pool was that all of the chairs, all of the cabana areas, those were all free to use. Now, Port Taino looks like it's really going to be built up. Please let me know if you'd like a separate video all about Port Taino with a little bit more details. Please let me know in the comments below. Now, something else that you should know when you're getting off the cruise ship in the cruise ports is that you will get off through Destination Gangway. Now, Destination Gangway is really a space all its own. And in contrast to other cruise ships where when you are getting off the cruise ship, it feels really like you're getting off in the bottom of the boat and maybe it feels even a little bit industrial. This area is bright, modern, and beautiful. And I'm gonna share with you that little secret passageway. So when you are either going down to Destination Gangway or you are going up to Destination Gangway, look for these little discreet glass doors that are going to take you up or down to the Martini Bar area in the Grand Plaza. This way you can avoid all of the lines of those elevators and you can walk up that stairway. Now, when it comes to the bars on Celebrity Beyond, they definitely do a good job. So if you have the drink package, in particular, the premium package, well, you are going to be happy. So you have the martini bar, you definitely want to head over there as often as you can. You've got your sunset bar, you have world-class bar. Now these drinks are made by bartenders that are true like mixologists. You'll see that when they're making some of the drinks, it actually is an art form. I had a drink, I think it was called the Rose Petal Martini, and my husband had an old fashioned, absolutely fantastic. Now you also have the Martini Bar, and while the drinks are very good, it is that view and that venue that is spectacular. Now I do have a little tip for you. If you have the premium package in particular, try and ask for the drinks that you like. Try to ask for the type of alcohol by name, because even if you have a premium package, they will not necessarily give you the top shelf liqueur without you asking. By the way, with the exception of the world-class bar and the martini bar. So what were the high points and the low points of Celebrity Beyond and who do I think this cruise ship is for? Well, the high points are definitely all of the attention to detail. And this is really a beautiful cruise ship to the point that even the bathrooms are beautiful. Yes, when I opened up the bathroom stall above the toilet, there was coral that was placed there as an art piece. There was also art everywhere on the cruise ship to the sculptures, to the paintings and photographs, and even to one area where there's a hallway and you can see into what looks like the interior or the side wall of the cruise ship. Now, another high point is the staff and the crew, very accommodating, very service orientated, and overall you are very well treated on a celebrity cruise. Now, if I had to pick a low point, I would say some of the food. While the food overall was a good quality, you could definitely see where there were perhaps some cutbacks, and I hope that Celebrity does make some adjustments in this area. Now, who do I think Celebrity is for and not for? Well, I think a lot of people would really be very happy with the Celebrity Beyond. We met people of every age that were really enjoying the Celebrity Beyond. However, I would say that this is not a ship that is particularly geared towards families, and if my children were young, even though there is a kids club on board, I don't think this is the cruise ship that I would choose. 
Now, if you are wondering about the demographic on the Celebrity Beyond and the Infinite Veranda Cabin, I am going to leave a playlist of my Celebrity Beyond videos at the end of this one. I would love to hear from you if you are going on the Celebrity Beyond, if you've been on the Celebrity Beyond, please let me know down in the comments below, as well as any questions that you have. Now, I hope that you enjoyed my Celebrity Beyond cruise review and that you found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.